This is Victoria train station on the one line. And this is the square over here right outside the station. So we're gonna take a walk from here to Ammonia area and see what it's like on the walk over. So this is not really uh, known for, to be a good area, but like a lot of real estate, I guess in, in Athens, it's up and coming. Same with Ammonia area. It's a bad area, but it's really central to Athens and Monastadakian tourism. So I would guess eventually this stuff will get gentrified again. If I ask my cousins who live out here about areas like this, Victoria, Ammonia, they all know that, or they tell me that it's a very horrible place, it's very dangerous, a lot of drugs, drug addicts, and that kind of thing. But the way these areas get fixed up is not usually from the locals it's from people coming in from outside and seeing value there or buying enough of the real estate in areas that they can fix up so it seems like that may be happening now there's a lot of asians chinese coming here buying up apartments uh, opening up businesses because of it's relatively inexpensive to get, I guess, a, a EU passport or residency in Greece if you spend, I think it's something like 250,000 euros or something along those lines. And so that's, that's a lot of times how, how it works. A, a bad area eventually becomes good, but when it's bad, nobody wants it. <laughs> They want it when it's good. Um, and the difference in price can be huge multiples from, from when it's cheap to when it's expensive. Uh, an example of this is Times Square in New York City. In the 80s, Times Square was drug addict central. Um, the streets between, what's it, Broadway and, and 8th? between Port Authority and like Broadway over there, that whole street was nothing but um, movie theaters playing porn movies, uh, all these head shops selling, you know, paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia and that kind of thing. A couple of crappy clothing stores, you know, like low-end stuff, like Army-Navy type stores. And just walking down that street, if you ask most New Yorkers at the time, they would say, don't, you know, don't go there. Definitely don't live around there or open a business there. But, um, you know, look, look how far it's come now. That, that street is so expensive and that's tourist central right there, you know, and people are coming there from all over the world and it's very safe now and also very expensive as well. Same thing happened with the uh, village in Manhattan, Greenwich Village and all those areas. I mean, there were buildings that had squatters in them. In the, in the late 80s, early 90s, there were people that just saw abandoned buildings and started living there, mostly drug addicts and homeless types. And uh, eventually, some of, 
some of the people were able to buy the buildings from the city for like a dollar as long as they rehab them and fix them up and stuff and those buildings now are millions of dollars so is it risky to buy real estate in this area sure of course it is but Greek is a, a capital uh, Athens is a capital city here and of course tourism is huge because people come here for the Acropolis or to go to uh, other islands from Athens as well so everybody comes through Athens so I'm by no means an expert on real estate around here and I don't recommend thinking that you can just pop in here for a week without knowing anything about these areas and just buy something and you're gonna make money or be able to rent it out easily or not be having uh, not realizing that the area is a drug infested area still and people don't want to rent here or something along those lines but I would say that if you really want to uh, take the time to come here and learn the area and see what has the best potential for the future and you have some time to spend maybe 10 years to wait or something like that there's probably some really good deals around here I would say but look at these buildings here like that building on the corner it's a beautiful building when when it was built I mean the architecture of it obviously it's it, you know it, it's been empty and dilapidated for a long time but look at the building next to it it's a nice building I mean this is a corner right here big corner and if somebody were to come and either fix that up or maybe it's too far gone to fix up knock it down and put a an apartment building or a hotel or something like that there I'm sure that's gonna happen in the not too near future but if I tell my cousins that I came downtown to walk from Victoria to Ammonia <laughs> just to see what it's like or see what it's like in the daytime they would think I'm kind of crazy So that goes with anything. I mean, in the US when the housing market fell and prices were 50, 60, 70% off, the majority of people didn't want to touch it because they thought it was going to zero or they were already underwater on their houses and losing money. So they didn't have money to go and buy these cheap uh, housing. But the people who did made out really well. So like I said, I don't know the real estate market here and I don't recommend anybody just popping in here or buying sight unseen or anything like that by any means do your homework But if you uh, browse a website like Home Greek Home, they got a lot of listings in Athens and all over Greece. And you can get an idea for what apartments cost around here and in other areas of Athens and Greece. And 
I think you'll be pretty surprised at the prices, even though they've come up since the bottom. But I still see, you know, 50 square meter apartments for 30, 40 grand, something along those lines sometimes. Depends where it is, of course. Here's a pretty nice hotel right here. Looks pretty new. Whereas the rest of the block doesn't. But you see there's some construction going on over there. I mean, this, this area really reminds me of kind of downtown New York in the 80s when it was real kind of scruffy. Um, there wasn't a Starbucks on every corner. You have all kinds of mom and pop stores selling all kinds of things here. Not a lot of chain stores or anything. So, ammonia is right up the street there where you see that metal. Well, that's my thoughts on the area around Victoria and ammonia metro stations. I don't know that I would want to live in this area, but I think it can be a good area to invest for the long term if that's what you're looking for. Greece has its problems, but it's not going to stop being a big tourist destination as long as they still have the Acropolis and the Greek islands. So even though real estate has increased from the lows, it's still pretty cheap relative to the rest of Europe. Now that you've had a little look at the area, let me know in the comments if you would live or invest in this area or even just Athens in general. So thank you for watching and leave me a thumbs up if you like this video and as always subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching.